My name's Kate Mascarenas and I'm going to be talking about my debut novel, The Psychology of Time Travel. When women make scientific discoveries, their contributions to the field are often erased or appropriated over time. I was imagining that if in the 60s scientists had invented time travel rather than space exploration, it might be harder to exclude women from that history because they'd continue to be present and visible as they travelled through time over the decades and centuries. I wanted to write about a time travelling woman and her legacy from the perspective of her granddaughter, Ruby. It seemed to me that time travelling would be constantly making you think of what stories people leave behind. You'd be dealing with situations where you might feel you were walking among ghosts, that you'd be revisiting people, often your loved ones, who were dead in your own time. And also, if you were travelling into the future as well as into the past, you might be confronted with maybe your life not turning out the way that you wanted it to. For Ruby and her Granny B, all of these questions are brought to the fore when there is a violent threat on B's life. Because I'm a chartered psychologist, um, I was also viewing the characters through that lens uh, and wondering what kind of coping mechanisms they might have for that feeling of walking among ghosts. During the early stages of writing the book, I was really interested in uh, the history of NASA using psychological screening to um, select astronauts. The characters in my book have to undergo similar psychological tests and in many respects the traits that allow them to cope with their job alienate them from ordinary people. The time travellers develop a, a very unhealthy culture um, of their own and it's that that provides the context for the murder uh, at the heart of the plot. So there are lots of big questions in the book about what kind of impact we can leave on the world and it's full of intrigue as well. It's called The Psychology of Time Travel and it's out in summer 2018.